So when I built the Dalanza, a uh, Gules Dalanza, I was not really impressed with it. It just kind of meh to me. So I, I didn't really have high hopes for his newer mobile suit, the Adarabaldi. However, this thing is a complete 180. I love it. I love everything about it. But for the most part, there's a few little little things that annoy me, which they could have fixed easily and it would have been almost perfect. Nothing's ever perfect, but you know, pretty close. First off, color scheme, great. The red is a little different from what we usually expect for a, a mobile suit. I'm definitely digging it. Quite a bit of nice little detail going on. You got the uh, the stickers that have the uh, little um, metallic green, which had these shoulders and the thighs have uh, that smoky clear plastic over top of them. Kind of like the aerial. And the face, the, the head's really nice too. I like the curved horn and the little uh, carry handle he has on the back. This thing would actually, I think, benefit from a Gundam head, personally. I think it would totally do that. It would work. And the shoulder shields are very nice, too. But even the back is pretty cool. And uh, the people have been saying, still, that there's problems with the c clips Now, mine, I, I must have gotten lucky, because so far, the, uh, the ones on the angles here, no problem. Nice and tight. Haven't had a problem. I'm hoping I don't have a problem, but it apparently still is a thing, so keep that in mind. And um, it still has uh, the, the posability you would expect. And the fact that they're really trying to keep, like, get rid of polycaps forever, I'm okay with because I'm having no problem with the joints. Now, that might, that might change in years. Things might get really loose. I don't know. But, I mean, check out that ab crunch. That's pretty cool, right? So, it doesn't have a uh, shortage of posability going on. But with no polycaps, things might start to wear out. But I really love how far that angle can bend, and it's got that little side tilt too. And its toes can do some nice stuff because of stuff I'll show in a bit. But first I want to talk about the two problems. First off, the command antenna. I don't know why, but they, they don't seem to know how to do command antennas without them just coming off. So gluing is definitely your best friend. But I still like how, how, the way it looks, I just don't understand why they can't figure out how to like keep those in better. Maybe it's just one of those things, it's a mystery. They'll never figure it out. Now, it's melee weapons. They're pretty nice. They got that nice clear green plastic. A lighter, more of a neon green. And no problem uh, going into the holding hand. Ooh, and this is something. You get an open hand. Who would have thought they actually knew how to give you an extra hand in a modern kit? But they did. But the thing about those weapons, they combine in the show to make like a staff. Well, you can't do it without a little adapter piece. And then you got your staff. But if we bring in any kind of modern freedom, it has the little interconnected pieces so they just lock together. Um, I think the high grade revive does, but unfortunately those side skirts would never hold the beam saver, so I took them out. So I don't know where they are, so I can't really demonstrate with that. I had to use the master grade. But I'm pretty sure most modern like seed kits in high grade form can do it. I don't know why they wouldn't be able to do it here. I mean, I could probably do it myself. Just uh, carve the little parts in there. It might not lock, but I mean, it probably fit together, kind of. I don't know. Maybe not. But that I don't understand. So now, if you don't want it together, you gotta have that piece left off to the side in case you decide you want to, and hopefully you still have it, and you didn't like swallow it or something. So that is my biggest problem with this kit. The horn is an annoyance. That is just pointless. It didn't need to be like that. It really didn't. So boo on you, Bandai. Boo, I say. Everything else is great, though. Uh, everything else is basically uh, remote weaponry. So you got his shields, which can pop off. They're just pegged in easily enough, and they're supposed to fly around and block, you know, make a nice little shield farm everywhere. And then you've got... The arms would even pop off, thankfully, because his arms got chopped off a lot in the uh, anime. And then you have the little back ones that pop off, and they become, I think, the beam cannons and beam sabers. And rarely do we get the purple beam. It's the elusive purple beam. But we get a pair of those, and I'm a big fan of purple beams. Purple is my favorite color, so I am down with purple. Give me some purple, Nurple. And then the feet. 
if you pop off the foot, which is a little hard for mine because everything's very tight, and then you add, you use that articulation, you get two of the wires, one for each foot. But I just forgot you have to get... This is another thing. I guess there's three things, technically. Because the third thing would be this adapter that you have. Adapters for everybody. Because you gotta shove that into its foothole. And then that gives you... If I can do it right, which I apparently can't. There. Uh, it gives you the little hole for his wire in the one end. And then you can stick the other end into a little hole in his uh, ball joint there. And now you got a wire guided foot. That is cool, but once again, you couldn't have molded an extra hole into his foot just right there, right in that little indent. There's an indent. It's molded in. Why couldn't you just put the hole there? Would it really have mattered? I just maybe they tried and it wasn't secure. I have no idea, but this just is weird to me. And they do give you one of these little stands. We get in quite a few gun kits lately, and you can have it on there, and you got them flying around grab an aerial and fling it around. One gets cut off and he's still standing somehow with one foot. Don't worry about it. But and you can also, if you want, you can take the uh, you take the arm. You can give it a weapon. And you can shove it into the stand hole. So that's neat. Would've been nice if we had two of these, but I mean, I have, I have tons, so I'm not really worried about that. The shields, you could. But the connectors aren't the same. You got a peg and a peg. You're not going to be docking anytime soon. So apparently you need to use that stand, which I've got for the aerial, um, which I got when I didn't, I didn't pay for. So you could use that. Um, I haven't got that taken apart yet, or not like it really takes a lot of effort, but yeah, I, I don't really care that much. I'm not going to have them displayed, but if you want, you can use that stand and I have more parts displayed. And you can put the other hand back on here if you're not using it. And then store the other weapon. So yeah, I like that. You got storage. And you, you might not even think about it. But yeah, you've got storage for it. So this is quite the upgrade compared to this W boy. Uh, I do like the fact that it did come back in the uh, last few episodes. Because he didn't have anything left. <laughs> he had to use something. But yeah, going from this to this is like night and day. Like, it's just... Although, I wouldn't mind this guy's color over here. Hmm. 